I'm going to take a quick look at how to fill in a freehand drawing with a particular color. First, let me go up to the toolbar. I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm going to select one of the pen colors. I'll just select black for right now. Next, I'm going to draw, in this case, a little image of a lake that we're going to have uh, just be a blue lake. So I just draw a picture of the lake. I'm going to click on my selection arrow and click on the rectangle button or the shapes button and then choose a rectangle. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle around my lake. Let go of my mouse, click my selection arrow, and I'm going to select that rectangle, go over the properties tab, and I'm just going to fill this rectangle in with the color that we want for our lake. Well, in this case, we're just going to do a nice deep blue. Now, while this is still selected, I can click on the drop down options button. I can go to order and I can send that all the way to the back. Let me click back in the workspace. So now we actually do have a picture of a lake that's blue, but we obviously don't want the blue on the outside. So the next step is to click on the screen capture tool in the toolbar. We want to make sure that we're going to leave the capture to new page off. So we're just going to capture it directly to this page again. We want to make sure we click on the first button that does a rectangular capture area. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm just going to draw a rectangle inside. Make sure I'm on the blue and I'm going to draw a rectangle around the lake and then let go of my mouse. So it did a screen capture of that area. Now, uh, just a very quick tip. Notice this image is a little bit larger than the original uh, image. If you wanted them to be the exact same size, let me close out my uh, screen capture toolbar. If you wanted these to be the exact same size, make sure your zoom level is on 100%. If it's higher, my image is going to actually um, expand and be a little bit bigger. Okay, now that I have the picture of my lake, I actually don't need uh, these two objects anymore. So let me just select them and delete them. Now all I need to do is right click on this object, go to set picture transparency, and now I'm going to click on the blue that's outside of the lake. And I'm going to make that transparent. And then I'm going to click OK. I now have an irregular shaped object filled in with the color of my choice.